this is how to um, use Google Forms and this is how to find your way through how to create a research survey or just any random survey with Google Forms. So the first thing you are going to do normally is go to your browser and we'll be using Chrome preferably. Of course you can use your Microsoft Edge which is this one here but for the purpose of this uh, video we'll be using Chrome since Google Forms itself is um, a Google um, app just like Chrome she gets so we'll be using Chrome here all right so simply select your the um, email you want to use the exact email you want to use all right so from here you can see this page so what I'm going to do next is the nine dots at your at the top right corner here of your screen you see it there and to show google apps so simply tap on it like this and you see every google apps all their products all right so when you scroll down you now see forms here so just select the forms right so as you can see from this my particular account i had um, one survey i did so to make a new survey of course they have templates uh, they have some templates here you can work with these templates or you can as well um build yours from scratch and it's also very simple so i can show you that you can make a simple survey within 30 minutes i'll show you that once you just follow this video from the beginning to the end all right so this is for example for contact information Tap on this now, you see the templates. Alright, so all you have to simply do here is just edit and put in what you want, alright, and do the rest. But it's very simple. But before then, I'll be showing you how to build it from scratch. And you must note that anything you do, it must be online. You must work with this stuff online. Of course, you can create a survey with Google Forms. Sorry, with Google Form yeah google forms on your device on your phone is going to work but it will be better if you use the laptop all right so you can understand every single thing you are doing to more simplify there and as well when you are done with your editing you can also view there's a view it like how to be on mobile phones right as well like this one i just tapped in now this contact information i have it here in my recent so just as so to make a new blank um okay as you can see there are many other templates here with similar uh, stuff shared. like it's just similar but at least a template you can work with all right so let's say you want to make a, a simple um, um survey for your let's say your business of course, you can do something like this because you can also add a picture. Obviously, you can add pictures. You can do every, every other thing. Okay, so you can you can edit this to your taste as you want. Then the next thing from like once you are in this page, just follow me through because after this one, I will show you how to build it from scratch. On obviously, it's very very easy. So once you are done editing here, of course, I will show you how to edit this thing later. But I want to just show you the main overview right like the tabs around here once you are done this part this question part you can check on let's say you like you want to publish your question you know the link so after people have um, tapped your link you know answered um with your link you see the responses here these responses so as you can see now we're showing waiting for responses all right so if let's say i have my link of course i'll show you how to get the link later but let's say you don't want your link has been shared and you don't want any more response you simply knock this off like this then if you, if you still want responses you turn it on then let's say you don't want responses like no more you type a message you know for people that are tapping to the link maybe, maybe like i am done with this my survey please thank you for your time we are done with this the link is no longer valid stuff like that just put like a closing message for anybody that taps the link because just put a closing message for anybody that taps the link it's as easy as that 
All right. Then let's say you already have responses here. Of course, I'll show you from one. Um, this thing I have from one. So here I have. I'll show you something like that. Where you have responses here, you can simply select link to sheets. All right, to Google Sheet. Let's say you have many data that need to be easily analyzed. If you do link to sheet, you will see everything in a very broad table. Of course, you can print that table. Okay, so we are done with this response area. Then from the settings here, you can also see many other things you can, you know, tweak. Just depending on the kind of uh, survey you are making. All right. So right here, let's go back to the question first of all. So let's say I want to make a change here. Let's say I want to make a change. Here. Like, what is your name? Yeah, as you can see, I'm showing saving. She get so every single thing I do. If I type, if I type just an alphabet here, a, it will show saving. So every single thing I do, of course, is saving. So no need for control S here, like the normal. Microsoft Word used to do like for typing anything you do since it's online it just gets saved immediately right so this way you can change you know the theme of your page here if you change the theme here now it will be something like let's say the color I want the color to be Christian I want the color to be Christian, like the background all right or I want to be orange I want to be anything you can select the color here of course we can put one thing for the header. Let's say I want to add an like one image here. First, that I can simply select image from here. All right, I can simply select an image from here. For example, if it's about music, I can you know select it and insert it like this, and I will have the header up here. Show you that is as simple as that. And automatically, if your header is um, like, if you see any color from your header. It will reflect the whole background as a theme already. Show you get so it's as easy as that. Then what do we have here? And many other things, just tweak it like the you know the text styles and everything. You can just fix that by yourself, customize it to your text. All right, then if you want to view how it looks like when someone is using your link for this page, just select preview. I can now see how it is alright. So if someone is using your link, it will be showing just like this, as you can see, alright? It will just be exactly like this. So when you are editing, I want to like check how your work is. Just simply tap that um, view. That is a preview. Of course, you can undo. You can undo anything. I can also redo it. Alright? So when you are clicking send, this send means you want to get link. All right so you can also send this link via email if you want that you know like if you are working online throughout you can send the link the link via email you can add many emails as many emails as you want here you know you get it they can also add an editor if you want someone else to be able to edit this work you can add an editor from this part you understand that will be another email entirely so since this is my email here and, and i want someone else to be able to edit this work from whoever he is, I'll simply add this email here and will be among the editors so you can you can work on this same stuff. You get so I'll be going okay. I was in send right, so it's as easy as that. To then the link, if you want the link alone, you can simply come here, this place, and you see the link here. All right, so you can copy this link, it will work like this too. Of course, it will work like this. So let's try it with the new tab here. Yes, I'm pasting the link here like this. As you can see, I will I will just view everything like very easy. Then let's say I want to make the link more short. Like I want to make the link sh uh, short, I'll simply tap shorten link, and I will have a short one here, alright? So this short link will also work the same thing, but it's more preferable if your link is short, but it will be easy. Okay, yes. So if I use the short link here, it will still take me to the same place. As you can see, there is very the same. All right, then this other part is for <coughs> is for like when you want to code, uh, you know, like add this page to a main page, something like that. Yeah, but if you need that one, fine. They can make more research on that. But for now, working with just this link stuff, if you want your link or if you want it via emails and every other thing. So that is that. If you want to um send it, then let me show you how to start this thing from scratch, and I will explain like how to use all these 
two by here, you know, all this stuff. So let's say you want to do this from scratch. This, this the very simple thing you have to do is just to select the blank stuff here. You get all right. They they do something like this. This form like this. So you get. So let's say our topic for um, this survey is let's say um, level of smoking in Nigeria. Alright, so when you uh, like, this is our main heading for this work. Alright, so we just something like this. So you can as well bold this text if you want. Simply highlight it like this. You select bold here. Alright, so you can also, you know, make the word italic by simply selecting this eye. So you can see, or you can also remove it as, or you can also underline it and do every other thing you want. So you want, then if you want to make this in a link. Let's say you want to. Um, like when someone just tap on the on the sentence, it will become a link to something else. As simple as that. For example, how how like something like this. I'll be like, um, okay, I'll I'll do that somewhere else. All right. Let's I'll be like, if you smoke, tap here. So I might give I might okay let's say I want to highlight this to to bold everything here sorry highlight it here to bold then I want to make this tab here a link for example someone that's most like I want to tap this place I want to make it I'll have like insert link right so I'll just add a link let's say I want to add just add a random link I'll add this Google Maps as a link right so where 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 are we before. So we're here before. So what I'll just do is to highlight this part. I'll simply highlight here like this. Okay, they will now put insert link. Right. So I'll put the link here. Basically, and I'll click OK. So whenever someone taps this tab here, it will take them to the link you added there. It's as simple as that. Alright. So you can do many other things like number listing if you want to, you know, okay, let's enter that the next page number two. As easy as that, she gets. Then we also have um, yes, number listing by bullet list, the same thing. She gets. Um, sorry. All right. So yeah, with, with this we can just be like remove, remove formatting. We can work with this stuff and be like remove formatting and everything. So remove the whole format. That is the bold, italic, the line, and the rest. We can remove that with that. So basically, I've, I've explained most of the elements we have under here. So let's say we're working with level of smoking in Nigeria, All right? Then we we'll now do something like uh, we we'll have like like an introductory part of this. So we will be like this. Uh, let's say this study is aimed at measuring the level. Of smoking of smoking sorry smoking in the country in the country please answer Every part of this question, man. Correctly, all right. So just or just put anything you want to put there, like to solicit their, you know, their time, you know, their attention to answer your story, something like that. Okay. So you can also like. You can format it in any style you want. You can make this one bold if you like, or let's say you just put it in Italian like this, alright? So just with then, like, you should already have your questions. We know that if you have your questions down, let's say you have like 10 questions, you start fixing them in. Alright, let's say question one, yeah, you know, I'll be like, um, for example, I'm just like, I'm not giving an example, I'll be like, where do you base in Nigeria?
Alright, something like this. Sorry. Where do you base in Nigeria, right? Now let's now this question now is a direct like it requires a direct answer. And of course we cannot have um options for this one because they are you know very very unlimited. Like that like there are many places in Nigeria. So this kind of one now uh, it will be like you want to just put uh, just one dash for them to be able to answer their like answer directly by, by typing. Alright, so something like um short answer. Right, so let's assume we are done with this one. It will just be like this. So if someone just sees the first question, where do you base in Nigeria? They will simply type in type in MEB. Uh, they will be like Delta uh, Abuja anyway. They will simply input it there like that. She gets. Then we have like we have different answer types. We have paragraph, you know, like long text, long answer text. Like they can type and explain anything you want. If like just based on the kind of question we ask. Okay, so they have drop down, have um check boxes, you know, that like options or we have multiple choices. Of course, we have file upload. So we can upload, let's say your question is like upload this file. You can ask them to upload file, you know, a file and if if we are using these options, for example, we can now select the type of file we want them to upload. For example, show you get it. So let's be like Okay, allow only specific file types. For example, if, if I select this now, it will give me option I'll be something like that. Okay, I'll be asked to is it that I want this particular file to be a PDF? If I don't want to be a PDF, I can be okay. I want it to be just an image. So if you are sending a PDF when I want it to be just an image, it won't work. Okay, so let's say I want you to send both PDF and image. I'll simply select both of them or select all of them if I want you to send any type of file all right or can simply turn this off if i just want to send any file all right they also have numbers of file how many files can you send is it one is it below five is it uh, ten something like that they will have the mark like the file size if it should not be more than 10 mb if if, 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 if it should be 100 mb or less 1 mb or 10 gb just any size all right so that is how to like if, if it's based on file upload then we have Linear scale, just many other things you can play with depending on your type of question. All right, we have checkbox grid, we have date and time, anything just depend on the kind of this you want. For example, you're asking someone what um what is your date of birth. All right, so they'll be asked to put their months here, the day and the year in this format or any format too you want. All right, go by time and every other thing depending on your question. So it's as easy as that. Then this way, you can also add image to your question. So let's say I want to add an image. I will simply insert an image from my files here. I will drag it and put it here, and I will see the image out like here. Let's let us try it. Something like this. So let's say I want to browse an image. Okay, I have this screenshot here, for example. So let's say I want to I now click open file, and it will load. <coughs> all right so by then we we'll just have the image here in the particular question let's say the image is based on an illustration um, sorry let's say the question is based on an illustration from and from any image for example like this one you can have like what do you see in this image something like that then they'll be expected to answer the question based on the option we give to as well all right then you can duplicate this um, stuff and you can have two of it if if they have similar questions i can simply mix like little changes so you can simply duplicate the question like this and you can edit and work on it all right so you can also do undo yes uh, you can do undo here right then we can still delete this one if you don't want to work with this one you can use the delete button here then if you want your question to be compulsory let's say you have a series of 10 questions all right and you want them to answer let's say the first question and second question or any of the questions that you think is important that they must not skip before submitting you will not select this required here and that question will be kept compulsory that means if they don't answer this question they won't be able to submit or they won't be able to move to the next section of your questions all right so here to have a you know show duration sorry answer type so 
this answer type is just based on the answer that I give him. So it, it can be based on you know the time, maybe description, just like that. So if I want this stuff to have a description, I'll put it out like this. I have it easy, alright. So uh that is just it. So let's say okay, let me explain this this part here. Let's say I want to add a new question. I'll simply select this and I'll be able to add a new question from here. Right. Obviously we can you know we can build this stuff and work on it, we can build it, do anything we want for it. I can also add one description under the this like here. You can add a, a description about the question you're asking you or anything like that. It just depends on what you want to do here, alright? So if you want to import questions, let's say you have your question from somewhere else or as a file, you can simply import that and you have it right here. Alright, then here is the add text and description okay i think it's very similar with um, this one here with adding a new question then we have adding you want to add an image you can add the image let's say let me try one again you add the image anyway let's say in the middle of the question just a maybe a big image maybe for beautification or for for certain purposes all right so you can just add an image to the right from here if you want to do that just add an image that's it because of this one then if you want to add video you can also add video she get maybe by the video link from youtube direct you know if you search the video let's say how uh, to let's say smoke us let's do something like this smoke this smoke us now and we see videos that matches the stuff we'll now like select it click on select right then we'll have the exact distance so once they tap on this stuff they'll be able to see something about the question you are asking so for example you are a youtuber and you want them to like from your questionnaire link it to your video or something you can just add this link like this and they can from your question maybe enter the video you put there so this last one here is to add a section right so if you select this now, you like you see a new section like section two of two, right? So this is so this becomes section one of two, like the first section, right? So you just see everything here. So you can just continue like that. Of course, you can move these tops around like this. You can bring this one up. You get, but that item must also remain up. Then, like I said earlier, you can also add the header. If you want an header, you can select the image. And of course, if you want to impute your personal image, you can impute your image if the ones here are not to your taste. Like here, we have just a few, right? So, so you can select based on the theme of your of your survey. It can be maybe based on food and drinks, based on birthday, the rest. So you can also upload the header you want. Let, let's also give it a try. So let's say you want to upload this as your header. Of course, you can go and download something that is related to what you are doing. Then you have it here and open up. Then you upload it here as your header too. Because so you can just simply crop like this, like to any part of the header you want, and select done. Uh, so you note that the like the work will take the dim of the header. Like if the header is based on yellow color, like here now we have more yellow colors than dominant. So everything here became color yellow. Alright. So it's just as simple as that. Okay. Okay, so when you are just done, you just select preview and you see how your work looks like alone to you. So this is just a rough work, like earlier stated, it's just a rough work to like show you every single feature about Google Forms. So you can also resize the photo if you want to. So you can resize the photo to any size you want. For example, you are like you want to your survey is based on social so location. Let's say it's based on Delta State as a location. But your first question will not be like, do you base in Delta State? If the answer is yes, they will keep answering the questionnaire. If the answer is no, it will take them to the end of the questionnaire. So if you want it to be like that, it's very simple too. Let's say it will be like, do you, do you, sorry, do you base in Delta State? So you now be like first sorry first option here will not be like uh, okay that is um, a different thing entirely 
like I said earlier, this is a title and description. Sorry, so I want to see options here. This is to add title, for example, I want to add something, it's just a title of a particular uh, part of a section. Let's say now, let's 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 delete this. Okay, let's see what with this one. I want to delete this now. This is also a you know a a title or description of a particular part of a section. This is a section, a section one of two, as you can see then this part is section two. So if I want to add a description, let's say we have 10 questions in section one here, and I want to like divide section one into two, but not in section, let's say in parts. I can put a description here. Let's say for example, I'll be like I'm just giving you a very example, I'll be like um, serious. I'll be like let's example most must answer for example so let's I want to go out here so this must answer is the heading of the or some of the parts of a part of this first section here as you can see right so this part now as you can see it's be like most answers I will also like format this thing like I said earlier I can format it so let's say I want to add a question like this under the question here I'm not be like uh, do you base a delta state replace in delta state all right so i will have options here let's say i only have yes then i want to have no so you get so if i want the like the people that should answer this question must be from delta state so that i won't sort too much at the end of the day i will simply set it to be like when you select yes you continue the question i always let no you will be led to the end of the question and that can be like session three session four or whatever session depending on how many sessions you have all right so i can now set this from here i'll be like so what i'm now do here is let's say i'll make this one required no important i'll be like if you answer yes so this yes part now be like, if you answer yes you continue to the next section all right or you can be like okay in fact continue the question like that just continue to the next session then if you select no i can be like go to the end of the questionnaire that is submit form so therefore i can easily filter out the people i don't want to ask like i don't want i can easily filter out the people that i don't want to answer the questionnaire she get so let's say of course we'll try it in somewhere now we'll try it outside with a different email is what i'm talking about so let's say like here we're doing yes so at the end of the day you should have let's say when you are done with session one two or whichever session we can sorry let's we can add the last section which is section three that can be let's say the closing remark will be like for example give an example the end as the as the listen as the head here you have like thank you for your time all right so let's say this is the end of the work here i'm not working with this this is the end of the work so we can format this to whatever way we want format it anyhow to your taste so you get so let's say this is section three and you are asked you are answering no yeah, let's say this is our first question here all right now if you want this to work if you want this to work for you you have to make if you want this to work like Move to the next session because it's by section, not by next question, right? Because let's say, so let's say this, this is what makes this is what will determine uh, the amount of uh, participants to your question. You understand? So it, it will be left alone in one section alone, all right? So let's say this one is in section one, then I'll move these ones here to section two. So any question I want, it just depends on you, all right? Let's say I'm moving this one to section two. It's just try to film it's very simple so let's say this one now i'm asking do you based in delta state is just section one because if you answer anything here it's what to like determine if you are going to the next session or not all right so let's say you answer yes now of course they'll move to the next section here all right which is this one of course like give it a title to whatever then if you answer you no know, you go to the submit form which is the third section here and to be like the end, thanks for your time, or put any message you want, or you can be like, since you are not based in Delta states, it's not important to answer this question, yeah, thanks for your time, something like that, just put anything there, all right, so it's, it's very, it's like, it's just very simple, as easy as that, 
Uh, so let's say let's 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 try some what we're talking about. Let's try it. So I have my link here. Right, let's copy this link. So let's paste it here. Right. So if my answer now is do, do you base Nabaka data state and answer no, it to if I click next, I will see the end. Sorry, okay, I'll be asked to submit. Alright, I'll be asked to submit since it's not what I really want, like I said earlier. Then let's assume I select yes. Example, I can go to the next section to answer the remaining things. Should I get so it's as simple as that. You can just walk away about about this app and you really love it. It can be used for many other things, like I said earlier. This way you see your responses like I did earlier. The only one I did answered no. And from the pie chart they gave you no is complete, you know, dark orange color here. But if I have yes, like the amount of yes, it will be measured here too. The graph from the understand where do you base Nigeria, this, that and everything. So you can also check your responses based on the summary here with graphs. So you can check it with questions, you know, based on the response from any question, the ones that were left blank, everything just find your way through this based on the numbers you can also check your responses based on individual you know uh, attempts on the questionnaire and as well you can print the responses just everything just to your way then when we are linking sheet we are doing link to sheet like i said we'll be asked to create a spreadsheet or to select an existing spreadsheet so if we are creating a new spreadsheet we just simply select create here all right and it will open a new tab here and you see your stuff in a spreadsheet let's say we have many other data here of course you just see all of them spread throughout this place then you can also print your spreadsheet here in pdf format like i said all right so all those things are very 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 just just too easy in fact like you love it when you start using it so when you are done simply go to your if you want to go to the home if you want to go home from your page you simply select this form screen and you'll be taken to the home where you see all your um where you see all your drafts all right so you can also work on your draft from here if you that thing so and as well you can delete draft like i said let's say i'm delete this one okay sorry i have to be taken back if i want to delete this one like that simple to so simply select this here you just click on remove and you won't see that again so move to trash as well you can also recover your trash <laughs> so thank you for watching um, please like the video and share to people that might need something like this. Alright, um, subscribe to my channel because it has not been easy for coming this far. So subscribe for more videos like this and I will always be ready to help. So thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video.